Hi guys, this is Ashraf. So this is the video about building a Reprep Tantalus, also known as Altius. There are two versions of the Reprep Tantalus itself. One is the 3D printed version, which is this one. I've printed most of the parts over here and it is about 80 to 90 percent of them are 3D printable including a bushing as well for the 8 millimeter rods um, also another one is actually the laser cut version by using acrylic a lot of people opted in for the acrylic version because simply it is much easy and much more accurate but I opted in for the 3D printed version because I don't have any access for a laser CNC machine although I do have a milling machine but it is pretty much small and I'm unable to cut a full single plate acrylic anyway and it is much messy so I opted in for the 3D printed parts 3D printed version and printed with my Krusha i3 Mark III and yeah, 100% of these parts are printed from the Prusa i3 Mark III and I made a few adjustments especially for the original files which is this one, the bottom parts two of the front bottom parts here I added about four screws here for me to mount the LCD panel because back in 2012 there are no not much of a LCD panel implemented yet for most of the 3D printer although there is but that is for a smaller type LCD panel but doesn't have any SD card feature anyway but that one is actually for the acrylic version the laser cut acrylic version as you can see I only use the zip ties over here just to fit them together and and then to have them stay together whenever I rotate them and it is pretty much satisfying just to look at this thing and most of the parts over here I printed I printed one by one except for the corner for the frame parts one two and three three over here each one of them took me at least 20 hours of printing time and this one is the longest one 24 hours this one 20 and 20 hours this one is slight failure under extrusion because I'm not sure why Mark 3 decided to have under extrusion only for this part but it paused the whole thing and I changed the filament but still loaded the same filament and it continues to print again but this one is non crucial though because this one is only for the motor mount I still have three other screws to mount the motor back here so this one I can still just use the screw and to fit them together like that not much of a concern though because there are a lot of screws that will hold down this frame together apart from that the LCD panel I use the Prusa's LCD plate here the orange color here reminds me of the early days of the original Prusa series probably the Mark 1 or the early Mark 2 days but yeah the orange here is very good aside from the bottom front parts that I added four screws on each side here I also I also modified this part here this part I made this hole much larger which is a diameter of 9 millimeter so that the the thread rods or the Z axis of course it is a Z axis um, it is a trapezoidal rods able to have some place but I am still have, have these two smooth rods that will be held down in place here um, so that I don't have much of a wobble because there are a lot of rumors or no it's not about the rumors it's about the discussion that if you bind too much on top of the um, on top of the rods here the thread rods or the trapezoidal the yeah the thread rods i'm going to call it the thread rods the thread rods it will induce a lot of z wobble so 
it is better to have slightly loose just like the mark 3 as well over here uh, let me show you guys there it has some play there it is to eliminate those z wobble issues so that is one of the one of the thing that i modified as well apart from this part another thing is that um this one this part here is not the original file from sublime this one is from the thingiverse i'm going to include that as well because i'm going to use a trapezoidal rod so i am going to use the flange nut as well because back then they used the trade rods the normal trade rods one that you can find on hardware and they use a normal nut back then so i'm not going to use that anymore also i am going to use the gt2 belt as well um, back then the uh, sublime uses i don't know what kind of thread that he uses maybe like a fishing line or something just to make things moving but um, i had to drill the eight millimeter smooth rods somewhere in the corners there but uh, it is hard to to drill those kind of rods and this is the actually the original the original z axis carriage here but i'm not going to use this because it is not compatible with this part here the leaf the leaf part so there is one of the western parts over here i'm going to use the the gear as well over here what else is that i am considering to um to add to have a an acrylic sheet over here just to cover them at the bottom and then i'm going to put the electronics at the bottom here including the power supply unit but i don't have any holes anywhere over here maybe after i've done it done everything maybe i will 3d print a fit somewhere to to try the whole thing a little bit for just for the wires to go through at the bottom and also i am going to i forgot to mention that i am going to model a like like a lock over here just for the acrylic plate and then i'm going to screw in it will latch itself over here and then lock itself everything here like i said earlier i only use the zip tie just to keep them everything together so that i don't have clutter on my table table over here so yeah um this is the first part of the video series of building a reprep tentalus the first part is about the introduction of the reprep tentalus or altius as well most of them are printed 80 to 90 percent of them are printed 3d printed and i forgot to mention that all of this plastic that you see inside this part one video over here is actually pla what i didn't print actually is the is the mount the groove mount for the e3d version 6 nozzle i am going to use the version 6 nozzle because the j head the j head hot end is not exist anymore i don't think it is exists anymore ever since the rise of e3d version 6 ever since version 5 of course so yeah i'm go i am going to wrap up wrap everything up um this is the first part about the 3d printed everything's 3d printed over here with my i3 mark 3 over there i am hoping to have a very good accuracy from this one since it is printed from a mark 3 which is high accuracy of course um next i am going to maybe the next video will be about putting everything together only the only with the screws only putting putting the no not, not putting everything together only to replace the zip ties over here with a proper screw sizes and screw length even this one is too long for the application but still usable but too long for me so i am going to find a 
screw, write up a document about the screw length and all. So do subscribe to my channel if you are new and like or dislike this video, the part one of this building, the Rap Rap Tentilus. Stay tuned for the part two of the video, the build video of this Rap Rap Tentilus. Asraf signing out. Peace.